Driving around in weather like this takes all of our concentration, but when the roads are clear, many of us are driving to distraction. Mostly from handheld devices. Back in 2019, a law went into effect prohibiting drivers from holding phones or other devices while driving. That law set the penalty for distracted driving at $50 for a first offense. But now, as New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse reports, lawmakers are considering raising that fine to 10 times as much. It's something many of us see on main roadways every day, and more than a few of us are doing it. It's gotten to the point where everywhere you look, you can see somebody distracted. And commonly, that distraction is from a handheld device like a cell phone. According to Maine Department of Transportation crash data, in 2020, there were more than 3,100 crashes with distracted driving listed as a factor. The average driver wouldn't think about picking up a drink, you know, drinking a beer or glass of wine as they're driving down the road, but they don't think twice about picking up their cell phone and, and sending that text. Now, in an effort to combat texting and driving, a bill has been introduced in the Maine legislature to sharply raise the penalties for it. $50 for a first offense would jump to $500, and $250 for the second offense goes up to $1,000. And after three offenses, you could lose your license. The bill sponsor, Democrat Representative Stanley Ziegler, declined to comment on the bill, but drivers we asked say they're all for it. I'm an ex-firefighter, so I'm all with it. I think you should increase it because lives matter, not a phone. It's insane. I think that definitely they need to increase the penalties and enforce them. But not all agree, including the Maine Policy Institute, which says the penalty is just too steep. I really hope lawmakers shy away from this and, and come up with an alternative or, you know, look at education and awareness because uh, this kind of fine is, is, like I said, way overboard. A public hearing on the proposed bill was pushed to Wednesday morning because of the storm, followed by a committee work session in the afternoon. Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. Again, tomorrow's public hearing begins at 10 o'clock in the morning. If approved, the revenue from the increased fines would go into the state's general fund.